The Arcturians, synchronization of lighthouses, rays, and flames uniting. October 29, 2015 By Maria Bethencourt The grids have balanced at a higher frequency than expected and are stable and prepared for the next incoming evolutionary wave from Source 1111, to assist in this magnificent shift of ages. As per natural law, the principle of rhythm is constant in this universe. There will always be another incoming wave. In increasing evolutionary, ascension cycles, they speed up to assist creation and as frequency increases, they become closer together. DNA evolution requires intensifying photonic light blasts to cause genetic changes. Each wave affects all beings differently, since each life has its own particular DNA and energy signature and their own personal ability to take in the light. An energetic body can only absorb the most it can absorb for itself without blowing itself up to extinction, it constantly balances energy intake and output. The more energy one can hold, the more energy one will access, assimilate, and integrate for conscious expansion, the more one will expand and be able to expand. The forerunners take the brunt of these energetic waves, as they anchor and assimilate and transmute the incoming higher vibrational energies into their inner grids first, to make them accessible to all outside grids. They are also physically affected first, as the high frequency energies affect their energetic bodies and DNA first and strongest. Each forerunner makes this conscious choice to transmute incoming energies. As inner grids are cleared individually in between energy peaks, outside grids shift to reflect the frequency of the human collective. The world as it is, is seen by all changes. Not all can see it, however. Some souls will experience this shift never consciously knowing what is happening. This is an option available on this free will universe. New realities anchor in, and reflect the new frequencies in the inner grids while you sleep. You literally wake up every morning to a new world. It changes during your day, at the highest connection you are in the higher realms, higher timelines. As your vibration lowers, you access lower frequency timelines. Look to the skies, they mirror your frequency. At the peak of the incoming energies, forerunners not longer function as individuals, but in oneness as the heart collective, consciously in unity to assist in this planetary shift. After each energy spike, they return to their personal process of releasing individual density and increasing their personal frequency, in preparation for the following incoming wave. This is so the highest possible incoming frequency is anchored by each one of the forerunners. Ask for these shifts to occur with ease and grace. Set the intent from your heart that all that happens is for the highest good of all. As the energies now begin to once again increase in frequency across all grids, the forerunners are beginning to step away from their 3D matrix grid work once again, and begin to vibrationally rise and hold to the new highest possible anchoring point of their personal self. This is in preparation to anchor in the incoming energies which will align with the 1111 portal, and are once again approaching Earth. The higher point you reach up from, the higher you will reach and anchor. Once that new peak is reached, the forerunners begin the process of releasing density so a new frequency can be anchored within, and they can level up to the new frequency. It is a stair-step process. The incoming energies of the 1111 portal will once again align to cosmic, galactic, and planetary energies to assist in the expansion of new timelines and the expansion of all. Humans are hugely affected, for they are out of alignment with the natural laws of the universe. This is a very strong energetic wave which manifests itself in the 1111 alignment. Magnetically, it is the strongest number sequence to assist in global awakening. Each forerunner has now fully anchored in, and the linking up process one to another has begun. Up until this moment in the now, individual forerunners have been finishing the process of releasing all personal programming and karmic loops and separating from the 3D matrix. Now that the forerunners are fully anchored into the higher vibrational grids, they begin to energetically come together with members of their original soul group. Soul families are coming together across all grids to begin their chosen purpose and missions to assist in this transition. As more lighthouses unite, their light expands and catalysts more and more souls around them. The heart collective is beginning to act as one in perfect union, to act as one force when needed. 
they have the ability to balance and transmute any organic and non-organic energy, that is not for the highest good of all, and shift any outside interference. This allows for the heart collective and works as one, with the elements and the elementals, in whichever way is needed to assist in the clearing process of all, across all grids. This includes weather manipulation, as was a recent experience. The next step in the process of physical unity for the heart collective is here. The physical manifestation of soul families coming together to begin forming new ways of being on this earth. Forming communities. Uniting. Carrying out their chosen missions. Souls enter your universe through different galactic portals, gateways. The Arcturian Gateway Corridor, is one of many of them. Coming direct from Source, the step-down process begins in the higher realms. Not all souls have been in physicality, the process of lowering vibration and separating from Source has to be balanced in level. Like ascension cannot be rushed or the physical vessel will perish, it is the same with dissension. To lower their vibration, souls separate into color rays to incarnate on this earth. Pure white light of source is too strong to be maintained within an organic vessel, it would make said vessel explode as the vibration is too high. They begin the energetic step-down process as they enter our universe and they separate into their chosen color rays. From there they separate into gender. Each color frequency has a particular task it wishes to accomplish, a purpose. The green ray, heart chakra for example is the ray of healing. As all seven rays come together they no longer radiate as separate rays, but as the white light. This is all part of the unification and returning to source. Soul groups chose their purpose and missions in the higher realms with very specific purpose for their individual experience and as a global group experience. In turn each group has a specific experience they want to create for the earth. Specific Timelines to Anchor and Co-Create Individual souls incarnate in all different ways. As this universe is a duality universe, the principle of gender, souls also incarnate in chosen genders. The Separation of the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine Twin souls, who have chosen to unite in the physical, are now coming together and anchoring sacred timelines, hierogamos, divine marriages. The relationship between man and woman has been severely skewed and altered in the 3D matrix. The original blueprint of sacred marriages is being returned to its pure state, healed and anchored. When twin souls come together they are uniting to prepare to ascend to the higher vibrations together physically. This is now an option, as souls no longer need to die in order to change realities. They anchor in twin soul energies, again a choice. One soul unified within and without, yet walking in separate gender. These are the twin flames. By being together in the physical they become great lighthouses, anchoring in by their physical love, the hierogamos energies into all grids. By anchoring their timeline, they make the divine marriage experience available to all who wish it. They also walk in complete service, at global level, individually and together. Some twin souls used to choose to not reincarnate together, one soul stayed in the higher realms to assist the other. Many are now uniting also through the process of walk-ins. The one twin that had stayed behind is physically joining the other, now that individual ascension has occurred for the originally incarnated twin. Together they will exit this dimension when their work is done. The options of how to experience this next stage of the shift are endless. For the forerunners the days of being alone are over, unless they choose that particular experience. Soul families are coming together as one. Returning to oneness, to source. This is the next stage, the future for the forerunners, the next stage of the mission. Building families and experiencing new ways of community and communion. As more forerunners ascend, their sense of time is lost. In the higher dimensions time does not exist. It is a 3D concept. Everything happens in the now. Time collapses and is no longer a concept as each soul begins to adjust to the multidimensional experience of oneness, and the higher dimensions. Past timelines and future timelines are all occurring at the same time. You, your consciousness, are living in the now. In this now you have already lived the past and it has ended. 
You have already accomplished what you wished to accomplish in your future. Aspects of you are living in that past and aspects of you are living in the future. This is how a soul fragments its consciousness. These are the timelines that you are now collapsing. This is why outside interference attempts to keep souls from being in the now, so they can siphon energy from lower vibrational timelines, life experiences in the past or future. Your goal is to live in your heaven, not someone else's. As you get closer to zero time, awareness of all times and aspect of self becomes conscious. This can get confusing until discernment of energies is mastered and understood. Therefore you feel something that will happen to you, a premonition, because you are connecting to the future that you have already experienced, as time shortens and collapses. Also it is common to be in an experience, and all of the sudden you remember that you dreamed it the night before. Eventually there will no longer be past or future timelines once all soul fragmentation is reversed, and timelines collapse and you become one. Once a soul accesses and heals an aspect of itself in another timeline, that timeline collapses. All the lessons and experiences return to you, and you also acquire all the tools and gifts that are given to you. And you picked that experience so you could acquire that experience to assist you in this timeline. You planned it so you could have it in this now. You did it to yourself. Those timelines are creations that have been experienced, they must be released to access new creation timelines. There will only be one timeline, one aspect of you creating your experience as you continue your ascension. The goal of each creator is to create new ascension timelines in this now not affected or manipulated by past or future timelines. This is complete creation, flowing fully from within, with no outside interference. This is what awaits all the forerunners that have chosen to expand and ascend. Full power of creation surrounded by soul family. No longer feeling alien in an alien world. In the past you never felt at home on this planet, you were never meant to, as your frequency did not match the 3D matrix. You came in a spiritual catalyst. But now, disconnected from the third dimension, your frequency feels unified, whole. Welcome home. We rejoice in your homecoming. We are the Arcturians. Reach out if you feel called from within to connect with us. We are here in service for you. This is what brings us joy. Always. Our heart is full of love for you, you are our family, we are yours. We are all one.